Well, lots of motorcycle riders came together for a ride with purpose and with a hope to save lives. News 12's Julio Avila shows us how a simple motorcycle ride is revving up a new outlook on life for those with breast cancer. This isn't your typical Sunday morning motorcycle ride. I'm ready to ride. <laughs> ready to ride a motorcycle, just like a Rita guy rode out breast cancer. Not sure which one, but I'm gonna I'm deal with this one right now. For the last two years, she's been in remission. I never looked of it as a breast cancer, as a death sentence. It's like, I'm gonna get through this. Today, motorcycle riders like Dr. Patrick Borgen got together outside of Maimonides Breast Center. This is Ride to Live 15. Raising awareness on what the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says is the second most common cancer in women. And by the way, Brooklyn, as now America's third largest city, has more breast cancer cases than 15 states. Now don't just think breast cancer can target women. Never in a million years. Never. That's because Louis Zapula was diagnosed 12 years ago and is now free. I went through hell and back, but I'm, I'm here to talk about it. The key, they tell us, is early detection through tests like mammograms. Also, talks with your doctor if something doesn't feel right and to get the needed treatment right away. I just went through it flawlessly. And if I do it, anybody else can do it. To continue their own ride through life. In Sunset Park, Julio Avila, News 12.